What's new in the crunchy ninja build of MIUI 12.5 port of Xiaomi EU from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in the crunchy ninja build of MIUI 12.5 by Xiaomi EU on the POCO F1. Do note this is a port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 and if you go into all specs you will notice that the Android version is 10, security patch is from December 2020 and the kernel being used over here is Genos kernel. Now of course the security patch is old because this is a port from Xiaomi EU Mi 8 build which is a port of the China build of MIUI 12.5 for the Xiaomi Mi 8 and the security patch came as December 2020 from Xiaomi so feel free to blame Xiaomi for that blunder. Now the first change you will notice is that the ROM has been de-bloated and the only apps which I have installed are the Gcam port, yes the Gcam port about which I made a video a few days back works absolutely fine. Then I have also installed the Magisk app to check for safety net and I have installed photos and YouTube. Those are the only apps which I have installed so there has been some de-bloation done on this build and they have also fixed out the brightness issues so the screen can now go super bright here it is now do note the fix was required because the Mi 8 has an AMOLED panel and the POCO F1 has a LCD panel so there was some mismatch and of course thanks to Amog for helping us out in fixing the brightness on this build next change you will notice is that you do have a new boot animation along with the new boot sound now the boot animation is not your MIUI 12.5, it is allegedly the MIUI 13 boot animation and the boot animation sound is also a bit unique I should say. Next up they have also enabled the option for clear speaker. So if you go into settings and additional settings, here it is, you do have the option of clear speaker and feel free to pause and read what the option does. Then they have also enabled voice changer in game turbo so let me open magisk because this is where i have enabled game turbo and here it is voice changer in the building working without any issues and while we are in matches we can also check for safety net so again the device is not rooted right now and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box i have only installed the magisk app to check for safety net magisk section says not applicable which means device is not rooted and we can also go to the google play store and here and if you go into settings and about you will notice that play protect certification says the device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up in terms of YouTube media playback everything works absolutely fine you do have picture in picture but you do not have live caption because Xiaomi has never implemented live caption but the media playback is fine there are no jitters no lags and no jitters and no lags in the audio as well now another fix they have done is some people were complaining about low mic volume when you're recording stuff from the camera so they have made fixes for that as well in this build and surprise surprise there is another small change if you head over to the google photos application this is what you might see yes this is no fake this is true this has been added on this build and it does work without any issues don't ask me how they did it they just did it and in terms of the assistant lady the assistant lady is present and she will help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well then we can have a look at some app opening animations as well to see if you have any jitters or any lags in the ui here it is files application of course you do get the new files application gallery application also you get the new gallery application and there are no lags or no jitters in fact the icons are also animated so here it is settings icon is animated go into gallery here it is gallery icon is also animated do note this is all because the build comes with miui launcher out of the box instead of the ever so infamous poop launcher now of course there are some issues in the build as well so if you go into settings you will notice you have always on display and lock screen and always on display but the toggle does not do anything again this is a port from Mi 8 which is why the option is there also if you go into 
additional settings and then you can go into gesture shortcuts herein you do have partial screenshot but the feature is broken three finger screenshot is present and it works without any issues let us give it a try and here it is three finger screenshot is working without any issues in terms of switching between the applications you can do that again everything is smooth no jitters no lags nothing like that as for your recents again you do have this style but you can always go into the launcher settings and change the style to the horizontal style in case you want to of course you can customize the minus one screen to your google feed as well but here it is we are in the home screen settings and arrange item in recent vertically or horizontally whatever feature you want to use feel free to use it again everything is smooth you do have access to floating windows as well and they work without any issues and of course before you ask me how do you install this build uh, install video can be found in the description of this video and does it support custom kernels unfortunately no the only kernel supported right now is genos kernel if you want to try any other kernel feel free to try but do not go and complain to the developer about issues after installing a custom kernel and there it is peeps that is what was new in the crunchy ninja build of miui 12.5 by xiaomi eu a port from the xiaomi mi 8 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you